good morning students we are starting with chapter number 3 that is macros and macro processors so in this chapter we have macro definition and call macro expansion nested macro calls design of macro preprocessor and design of work. so these are the points that we are going to see in this chapter so let us start with the first point macro definition and types of macro expansion so we have a macro which is nothing but a unit of specification for program generation through expansion so before we understand what exactly the macro is uh, we must know the difference between macro and function so you know you have learned function in c language as well as c++ and everywhere you are using function in programming the function in function whenever a particular function is called the control is transferred to that particular function that function is executed and the control is uh, given back to the main <coughs> program so function in function the control is transferred to a particular location whereas in a macro control is not transferred but a macro is going to expand the code that's what that is what the difference between a function and macro for function a cursor or a control goes to that particular location whereas for macro that code is copied from that particular location and uh, given in the main program so let us see the example then only you will come to know that so this is the example here you can see that we have a macro call incr a comma b comma a register and for this particular macro call we have a macro definition it's like function only what this macro definition is doing this macro definition is going to move this a into register then added a with b and then moving addition to a so simply it is like a is equal to a plus b it's like a is equal to a plus b so this is like function only but what will happen for this particular macro call the macro is expanded like this this code is expanded so whatever code is there this code is given here so this is called as macro expansion so this is what the difference between macro and a function if the function is called then the cursor will move from here it will reach here it will execute this particular function it will come back to the next instruction so this is not happening here in the macro this happens in function but in macro the code is expanded all the expanded instructions are uh, given sign as a plus so that we can come to know that the instructions with plus sign are expanded instructions and instructions without plus sign are the original instructions from the main program so this is what the example of macro so i repeat the definition of macro a macro is a unit of specification for program generation through expansion that's what i told you how the program is expanded now next is a macro expansion is what a macro consists of a name set of formal parameters and body of code <coughs> this macro is expanded now the use of macro name with a set of actual parameters is replaced by some code generated from its body so this is called as macro expansion so i repeat the example again with macro expansion now this is called as macro call a b and a registers are actual parameters you can see here and ampersand a ampersand b and a register are the formal parameters so a b actual parameters ampersand a ampersand b are the formal parameters now whenever this macro is called this is mapped with ampersand a ampersand b and a register and here actual code is there more add and move in. this macro this macro is expanded with three lines of code as more register a to register b add then move in. so in this way the macro is expanded this is what called as macro expansion now there are again after expansion we need to learn there are two types of expansion the first type is lexical expansion and the second one is semantic expansion so lexical expansion means simply 
replacing the formal parameters with actual parameters and semantic ex expansion is nothing but exact uh, exact so lexical expansion is nothing but in a single line replace formal parameters by actual parameters and semantic expansion means uh, semantic expansion means generation of instruction depending on the macro call uh, let us understand this by uh, example lexical expansion and semantic expansion so now you can see here this is the macro call incr a comma b comma a register and this is incr m person a comma m person b comma a register this line is from definition this is from main program so replacement of m person a comma m person b with a and b is nothing but lexical expansion and what is semantic expansion uh, replacement of this particular macro call with this code from the macro definition is called as semantic expansion i hope you understood difference between lexical expansion and semantic expansion so this is all for this lecture thus we have seen macro definition as well as types of macro expansion slide credit goes to professor dm damdere happy learning do subscribe the channel to get the notifications of new videos thank you